Here's a tour of room 10153 on board the Norwegian Epic. The first thing I want to show you is this. Hmm. Maybe tour when I'm not even in the room. So let's take my special key card by request and stick it in. Oops. Okay, so I open the door, stick my card in the slot. And the light turn on. Gotta love that. See? This is my room card. This is just from the room supplied by the people just can stay in there. So, come in. Here is the map. Not the break, but the front. This is an inside room on deck 10. Here are the lights. Main light. Bathroom shower. Here is the first impression of the room. Very, very nice. And let's start by the sh let's start with the shower. It is a circular shower, and the bathroom part is separated by a red curtain, so you get privacy. So here is the shower. Pretty cool looking, like futuristic. Circular door. It looks small, but when you go in it, it's actually pretty spacious. So let's go in it. And there's the air conditioning thing. Temperature controls, 38C100F, right there, cold, hot, and on and off. And it supplies shower gel and shampoo for you. And here is a clothes rack, right there. Let's open the door up, let's go to the top this time. Close it. And the light goes out. Now let's look at the bathroom. The bathroom is sort of curved as you can see. Straight here, it just goes like that. Here's the handle. They have a mini garbage can right there. Toilet paper, handle. And the square light. Ooh, my camera is really good on that. And you have one of these uh, plunger, whatever things. Soaked in water right now. Here's the flush button right there. And warnings and all that stuff. And the light goes out. But let's keep it on. Here is the curtain. It can't go this way because it's connected right there. So let's pull it open and look at the room. Really nice. Start with the sink area. You have three shelves and a mirror. It's all very clean since this ship was built in 2010. Just more shelves and cup holders. Here's a small sink. They changed these from the really long ones with the splash everywhere a couple months ago to this, which is a really good idea. And soap dispenser. There's a towel you used. Two there are two wine bottles. But no wine. Good, good because I'm a miner. And just instructions for your stateroom phone. And here you have a mini bar. Cool light. Gotta pay for those. It's easier just to go to the buffet because the buffet the buffet has so much stuff, the most I've ever seen on a cruise ship. I recommend going on this cruise. Here's the storage area. I gotta move this seat. It's really comfortable. It's like leather. And oh, here's hardwood floors, and here is a carpet. 
which is a really great touch. It's nice. Here's a full length mirror. And closet opens when you. Here is a safe, an L safe. Light. And a lot of storage space. Close that. The life jackets are down there. And here are the beds, the bed area. You have a ice bucket and a TV. And down here you have drawers, which I have my pillow in. Tissues. This is for empty towels, and here is a garbage can. That, uh, dirty towels, which they replace. Drawers, drawers, drawers. There is so much storage, even on this inside room. You know, there's a lot of balcony rooms, people say, that are less spacious than this because the balcony rooms are really skinny, which I have a room to about. Really quiet. And there's a cool button, too. Nice and quiet in there. 110 and 220 volt outlets. And under the bed you have storage for bags. Here on this bed, oh, let's start from here. Here's the phone. Room 10153, February 20th, 1256 PM. First is just NCL. And then you have this light, sleep mode. Press it, screen goes off. Good for night because it's really bright at night. Press it again, turns on. Touch the screen dial, X to hang up. Here are the controls, up, down, speaker, mute. Uh, clean mode. Just clean screen, you can just, that's it. X, hang up, redial. Either, or, I think that's emergency, I'm not gonna press that because it's red. Don't know what that is. That might be conference call and then voicemail. Here's a number pad. And here's the phone. See, redial. Here you have select language. Really nice phone. Here's your five language options. Choose English. And you press any of them, like Pizza 24 7, it just has that. So let's put it on speaker. I'm going to dial a phone number. No one's answering, and I love it how if you press X, it just goes to downtown watch. Oh, there's one doesn't want to talking, but when you're talking to someone and you hang up, th this is the only time I've seen in my life where it actually goes to the dial tone. Like in the movies, they have that, but this is the only time I've actually seen it. So I'm gonna turn the screen off. And here is the day thing called the Freestyle Daily and more storage. These beds are the most comfortable beds I've ever slept in on a cruise ship. Now here you have a reading light with a blue light and a light switch which turns the normal lights off. So I'm gonna turn this on. Very, very, very bright. It's like a flashlight. So you can see it on the door and the curtain, the other bed, let's turn it off, and here's the reading light on the other one. There's one light up there, with a nice design on this wall, and these are really comfortable, this is the same material as the seat. And here you have a holder thing for all the books they give you and menus and thermostat just warmer and colder that's it and I believe that is it so please rate and comment if you would like subscribe we appreciate it and now let's pull the car out, car down Bam. So that is my room tour. And that's it.
This is the tour of room 10151 on the Norwegian Epic. And it is daytime, and you have a card reader. Uh, not a card reader, but stick your card in, lights are on. There you go. So this is what it looks like when you come in. It's really, really cool. It's really, really cool. And the first on the right, you have the bathroom. On the left, you have the shower. If you want a detailed description of the shower, see my video 10153. And the bathroom, which is a little smaller and a little more curvier than 10153. So it does have a disadvantage. And in the other video, I said that the, that the balcony room has gives almost no space. And look at that. That's almost no space. So first, and that does turn on. So we turn that on. There we go. Very cool looking. Here's the counter, sink, drawers, dirty laundry, dirty towels, and a garbage can. And some towels, and a garbage can. And just racks and racks. Here's the TV, which I'm going to turn on right now. If I can find the remote to it, but I can't. So here's the TV. Nice Samsung flat screen TV. Coffee maker. And the bed. Nice uh, full size bed, I think. Actually, it's not because it's custom made because of the curved walls on the Norwegian Epic. And there's also a light there with a nice painting. Well, I'm not painting something. And here is a reading light, which is available in all all rooms. Just turn it on. Used to read. Very bright. And stand phone guide. And just shelves over here. Oh, here's the remote. And then there's a folder right there next to the thermostat where you can put all your stuff stuff in, magazines, or whatever they give you. And there's no, these aren't any, this isn't anything, it's just the electrical stuff and air conditioning and that stuff going through the ceiling. And here's the phone. Room number, date, and time. And sleep mode. Press the turn back on. And you also have clean mode, which is just... clean mode and phone buttons over here I wanted to detail about this phone phone in my last video so here you have a couch which turns into a sofa bed there's some pillows and blankets back there which you can't really see there's a pillow back there close it nice couch comfy oh then cabinets and safe here and all safe storage just some food down here is the mini bar once again if you want to see a really long full video about these rooms, which 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 pretty much have the same thing, it's just the size and the amenities that are different, just look at my inside room video closets and more closets and more drawers and here is the best part of the room the balcony which has magnetic so it stays see Shines up the whole room. There's two lights right there. That's what it looks like in the daytime. Pretty lit. Here is the lock. It's locked right now. I'm going to unlock it. Directions to lock it right there. Here's the light, the outside light. On, off. Wait. Oh, it was open before. My parents. Green floor. If you open the door, the AC turns off. Keep it closed. And 
here's the view. You can see to the people below. And there are no lifeboats in the way, which is good. See, they stick out. Inside. Two chairs on the table, and let's go back inside. See? If you want to lock it in place, just go like this. It doesn't move. It doesn't lock in, in the closed position, so you have to use this. See? And that is it for this video. Please uh, rate, comment, and subscribe if you wish. And last but not least, let's pull the card out. Gives about 10 seconds. Uh, focus on the water. There it goes. Nice white balance. The room is darker than in the camera. The room is darker than in the camera. So this camera does really well. Power, Canon Power Shot IS uh, 940IS. Here's the map. And let's back in here. That's it.